Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we will understand how to solve an unbalanced assignment problem. So let's begin. Before we start, let's have a recap of what we have done so far. We have already learned a technique to solve balanced assignment problem and the name of that technique is Hungarian method. So now we want to learn what to do if we are given an unbalanced assignment problem. That means the number of persons is not equal to number of jobs. So basically the idea is we have to convert this unbalanced problem into balanced one. And since the number of persons is not equal to number of jobs, so there are two possibilities. The first one is if the number of jobs is less than the number of persons. So that means some persons are extra, they would not be assigned any job. So we have to create artificial jobs or dummy jobs to balance the assignment problem. And these artificial jobs will be of zero duration or zero cost because they are virtual they do not exist in real similarly if the number of persons is less than the number of jobs then there will be some jobs which will be undone so we have to create artificial or dummy persons here with zero duration to balance the problem so this is how we balance the unbalanced assignment problem and once it is balanced, we are good to apply Hungarian method. So let's understand the process in detail with an example. A marketing company wants to assign three employees ABC to four offices WXYZ and the entries given in the table are the cost of assignment. So let's do the first step. We want to write this data in the matrix form. So in our matrix, we have three rows and four columns. Employees are representing by rows and columns are representing offices. And the matrix is not a square matrix. Therefore, this is unbalanced assignment problem. So to make it balanced, we have to convert it into a square matrix. And since one row is less, therefore insert a new row. And this newly inserted row is actually representing the dummy employee. And as I've just explained, the dummy employee is not existing in real, so it's actually not doing any job. So the cost of doing job is actually zero. So always remember in the newly inserted row or column, you have to put zero values. And now we are good to apply Hungarian method because the problem has been balanced. So let's recall step by step. Hungarian technique. The first step was you have to convert the matrix to reduced matrix and for that you have to find minimum of each row and write in front of it and then subtract the minimum from all the entries in the respective rows and you get the updated matrix in which every row is having at least one zero. And then we check whether every column has at least one zero. So yes, this is true here. Every row and every column is having at least one zero. Therefore, this is the reduced matrix. So after this step, the next step is we have to start making assignments. So we have to start with the row having minimum number of zeros. So the first row is having exactly one zero. So we will be assigning in the first row at that zero. And as per the rule, the rest of the zeros in first column needs to be crossed out because the assignment has been made in cell 1 comma 1 and then in the last row we are left with three zeros and arbitrarily you box any of these three zeros and cross the rest of the two so i have got the assignment of my first iteration and this is not an optimal assignment because the number of boxed zeros is two it should actually be four so I have to create more zeros through the process of covering and since the number of box zeros is exactly two, I have to use two lines to cover all the zeros. So this is the way I have covered the zeros. And out of the uncovered entries, we are supposed to find the minimum value, which is actually 40 here. And now what I'm supposed to do with this 40, 
you have to subtract this value of 40 from all the uncovered entries 60 80 40 220 160 60 100 360 and 150 so when you subtract this 40 from these uncovered entries you will get 0 at the place where 40 was written and rest entries will get updated what else we need to do with this 40 look at the entry which is lying at the intersection of the horizontal and the vertical line this entry needs to be added 40 units so this is 0 so if you add 40 to it this will become 40 so that's the process of covering and adjusting with the minimum now you just remove these lines boxes and crosses and write the matrix again in a neat and clean form and now you repeat the process again so in the first row I have two zeros so I'm not assigning in the second row there is exactly one zero so I'll be assigning there in the second row and as per the rule the first column zeros need to be crossed out because the assignment has been made in first column so after crossing these I'll go to third row there is no zero there in fourth row there are three zeros and in first row there is exactly one zero so I'll be choosing the assignment in first row last cell and in the cell four comma four the zero gets crossed out so after crossing this zero I'm left with only two zeros in the last row so arbitrarily you can draw a box around any one of them and cross the other one so remember in Hungarian method whenever you feel a tie is there so you break the tie arbitrarily so I am done with it and still this is not an optimal assignment because only there are three assignments made but we require actually four assignments so since three assignments have been made so using three lines we have to cover all the zeros and out of the uncovered entries find the minimum which is 20 this time so you repeat the process you subtract this 20 units from the uncovered entries and add this 20 units to the entries lying at the intersections so I have done the updation you can pause in between and check the calculation and now again once again you remove these lines boxes and crosses and write the matrix in this form so first row is having three zeros not assigning second row is having exactly one zero so assigning there in second row and crossing the zeros in the first column now the fourth row is having two zeros the first row is also having two zeros so in rows we have a tie so let's break the tie column wise in second column there are two zeros but in third column there is exactly one zero so I will be assigning there in the third column and this will cross out the zero present in the last row second column and finally again when I'm left with just first row I have two choices one zero to cross one zero to draw a box so whichever you choose the choice is yours so this is my final assignment after the third iteration I'm done with it and still it is not optimal because I'm getting three boxes not four so again using three lines I have to cover all the zeros so this time this is the covering I have done so again choose the minimum of the uncovered entries which is 20 again so you subtract this 20 from the uncovered entries you add this 20 at the intersection entries there are two intersections 1 comma 1 and 4 comma 1 so when you do the updation you will get your new matrix and then once again you have to repeat the process so this is the fourth iteration which we are going to execute so I have not shown the details of this iteration I hope you should be able to do that by yourself because now you have seen so many iterations so I'm directly giving you the solution which I'm getting after the fourth iteration I'm getting the box to zeros number equal to four so this is the optimal assignment and if you want to understand it in the original problem sense 
then it means that employee A has been assigned office X, employee B office Z, employee C office W and the fourth employee that is the dummy employee has been assigned office Y. So practically the office Y remains unassigned because dummy employee does not exist. And if you want to compute the, actually you have to compute the cost of uh, assignment. So you can add the values respectively 220 plus 160 plus 100 which makes it 480. So that's the cost of assignment. So we are done with the optimal solution. So that's how you balance an unbalanced problem and solve it applying the Hungarian method. In our next lecture, we'll be focusing on exceptional cases in assignment problem. Thank you.